important for a smallholder dairy farmer to set clear objectives while starting a dairy a farm. One of the things that a farmer should know and ask uh, him or he or her questions is the milk is the milk to be produced for home use or is the milk to be produced for sale or they are breeding or starting a dairy farm for sale of the breeding stock. It is important that the farmer considers uh, the right objective to determine which investment they'll put. For instance, if a farmer has an objective just to breed the animals for milk to be produced on the farm and to be uh, consumed on the farm, then they have to make sure that the investment to wheat will be able to match the needs of the family and the needs of the farm. If the farmer wants to keep uh, start dairy farming for sale of milk, then they have to consider having animals that will actually produce uh, huge volumes of milk to be sold so that the farm can be able to make money. On the other hand, the farmer may also be willing to sell his animals as breeding stock. Therefore, they need to consider uh, using high or so superior genetics to make sure that the heifers and the animals that are born on the farm are of high quality to be sold uh, out to other farmers. Now, let's talk about the dairy breeds to be kept. But before that, any farmer who wants to start a small dairy farm should have a number of considerations before they select which breed they'll want to keep. The first is on the environment parameters. A farmer should be able to select a breed that they need to keep on the farm based on the environmental parameters like rainfall and temperatures. A farmer should select a breed that is suited to the environment. For instance, the Holstein Frisian cattle will do best under very low temperatures and with high areas with high rainfall. This means that the farmer should be able to buy or select an animal that best suits the environment that they want to set up the farm. A good example is when the farmers want to start a, uh, a dairy farm, they'll look at the environment and find out which breeds are kept within their region. That will form which breed they can choose and keep that best adapts to the environment. Secondly, the farmer should assess the feed resources. The breeds have different requirements in terms of feed. A breed like horse and frisians are known to consume huge volumes of feeds and therefore the farmer need to access, assess whether they have available resources uh, to avail enough feeds for the animals. Uh, a breed like the Jersey cattle uh, can be able to uh, feed on very little feed resources and therefore if a farmer feels that they don't have enough feed resource uh, to feed um, the heavy consuming house and frisian, they can consider a small breed like the Jersey breed. The other consideration is the land size. Uh, the capacity of land will determine the number of animals that the farm can hold at a single unit. And therefore, a farmer should be able to assess the availability of land to determine which breed to keep on the farm and the numbers of animals to be held on the farm. Again, land size will determine uh, whether the farm will be able to farm enough uh, feeds and uh, pastures for the animals that uh, he or she wants to keep. The other consideration is uh, on personal uh, preference. You find that farmers uh, will prefer to keep a particular breed based on the color and the type. And therefore, uh, farmers uh, will also need to consider uh, if this their preference uh, and how if they want to keep a breed based on color and, and, and the type of, of the animal. The other main aspect to be considered is production. For any farmer who wants to venture into dairy, will look at the production and the capability of a breed 
being able to produce enough milk for sale and for use at the farm. Therefore, a farmer should consider a breed that best fits or matches their production uh, objective. The other thing is market. A farmer should look for a breed, a breed that uh, will be able to uh, serve the market and avail, be availed to the market at a very high uh, and profitable uh, margins. Therefore, a farmer can choose a breed because the sale of heifers from the breed or the breeding stock fetches more money uh, as compared to a breed that uh, is not preferred by, by many. Therefore, the choice of a breed uh, will usually depend on the availability of market for breeding stock as well as for milk.